What does it take to have art gallery worthy artwork in your home? Many would say that you need a vault full of cash. You need to know someone in the business. Or you need to know someone that's dealing in the grey market. Well, all of these may be true. However, I'm also going to show you that you might only need a cheap canvas, some paint, and a little imagination. Normally, I would suggest that any future Picasso starts off with some planning, maybe some consultation, but definitely some research. But as with many of the projects on this channel, planning is something that does not always happen. The intention is always there, but the execution can be somewhat lacking sometimes. This project is no different. We start this journey with a couple of recycled canvases. These were previously painted white, so that they would be ready for the unleashing of a future artistic tsunami. As you can see, I should have prepped these in black, as this will be the base of the as yet to be named masterpieces. The paintbrush that I'm using, and has already made a brief appearance, needs to meet just one criteria, and that is to not shed bristles all over the painting. Some of the cheaper paintbrushes just need to be looked at sternly and they will drop their bristles. If you can, spend more than one dollar on your paintbrush. I did want to add a textured finish to the canvases, but rather than heading to the local art supply shop for some expensive texture compound, I reached into my non-artwork supplying tiling cabinet and picked out a bag of leftover dark tiling grout. I like using tiling grout. It has a fine texture and contains many adhesive binders that will only help with the artwork, right? Instead of using water to activate the grout, I use my water-based acrylic black paint. This gives me the added benefit of uplifting the grout colour to the same background colour of the canvases. The mixing ratio to the grout and liquid is, well actually I don't know. On this occasion, I mix to a consistency rather than a ratio. I'll justify this by stating that mixing ratios are influenced by the current humidity, the absorption properties of the substrate that it's been applied to, and the actual water concentration of the paint is unknown. I could state that, but I would be lying. I mixed the grout to a thick honey consistency and this consistency appears to work. Once thoroughly mixed, the grout is applied using brushing motion that would make a Richard Simmons workout session appear like meditation. The objective here is to cover the complete surface with a random texture that will become the foundation details of this masterpiece. Unlike the paint, the grout needs to dry overnight. I must admit that at this point, although I present the confidence of Trump at a supporters rally, I still don't know what the next step is going to be. In any case, I need to wait for it to dry, so I'm going to sleep on it and wait for the REM ideas to develop.
Well, the ideas did not flood in overnight. I think that that bottle of red and the unconscious stupid that I was in probably did not help. So needless to say, come the morning, I was still uncertain as to what the next step would be. Just as I was scratching my nuts and contemplating the next coffee, I started to convince myself that a pair of textured canvases would be the latest statement in artistic non-conformity. After all, art is all about pushing the boundaries, seeing where you can take society rather than just reflecting back what society already knows. And then I saw them. As uninspiring as a couple of blocks of wood, I saw a couple of wooden offcuts, which strictly speaking are actually a couple of blocks of uninspiring wood. However, on this case, they were absolutely inspiring. Surely, some clever placement and the skilled application of atomized pigments, I can take these canvases to another dimension. A box outlined by a white shadow. Without the sweat, this is truly shadow boxing. Some black to contain the glow and three coats of clear will finish these pieces. Individually, the pieces can hang on their own. But together, they form an interesting series that can only but grow. One day, I'll see them in a contemporary art gallery and the masses will bestow on me grand applause and admiration. And then I will wake up with still no clear idea on how to finish these works. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Comments are always welcome.